And what can happen too is if you lift your lever up too high, your shoot, dang it! See, that's uh, there. There we go. All right, maybe not. Short guys rejoice, or anybody who has jeans that are just too long for them, because I'm gonna show you how you can make them shorter. I'm SD, I hate long intros, let's do this. Now, we need a sewing machine, we need an iron, we need some chalk, we need some sewing pins, or some safety pins, and we need a ruler. Or really just any kind of flat thing that will let us draw lines. You could use a book, you could use picture frame if you need to. We are gonna hem these jeans exactly the same way that a tailor would if you were to take him to a tailor, but it's it's not all it's cracked up to be. I will explain why in a second. Now go ahead and uh, put your favorite pair of shoes on for this because you got to make sure that you get the right length for them and well, shoes are going to help you do that. Put a safety pin or a sewing pin or even just mark it with like a marker if you need to right on that spot at the very bottom of your jeans, right where you want your new edge to be. Take some chalk and kind of kind of mark where that spot is on the inside of your jeans. Take them off and uh, let's shorten them. Flip them inside out, roll them up so that your original hem hits right where that mark is, be it the safety pin or the sewing pin, whatever it is that you use to make that mark, line those two up just like that perfectly. All we're gonna do is combine those two things by making a straight stitch right across. But, hang on. There's, there's gonna be a, a, one small little problem. Our machine is all, all ready to go. That was weird. Um, I've got my settings all set up on my machine already. We're just sewing a straight stitch right along the front top part of this hem right here. We're not gonna go into the hem, we're gonna stay on the lighter part of our denim. Now, I've got my stitch tension all set up, and if you don't know what stitch tension is or why it's important or how to set it up, I made a whole video on it already. It's, um, it's in the card. The viewfinder is upside down, so it's either right there or it's right there. Right, you, you, get my, you get my point. And so, as close as you can, right up to that original hem. If you come away from it a little bit, it's it's not the end of the world. It's not gonna be a huge deal as far as the finished product goes, but you wanna just do your best to stay as close to it as you can. Now, we are at this big old hump of denim right here that is our seam. And not only is it one of our seams, it's two of our seams, because it's doubled up, so it's all just huge. There's no way our presser foot is gonna be able to go over this, none at all. Oh, the neighbors are here wondering if uh, if my daughter can go out and play. That Great timing. Hang on, I'll be right back. Hello. Everyone. Now, right now, she's actually at the dog park. Why? Because she's walking the dog. Yo, I'm making a YouTube video right now. Do you wanna say hi? Just say hi really loud. Hi. You wanna say hi? All right, good talk. She will be able to play uh, maybe tomorrow morning, okay? You all right? You fall off your bike? Yeah. You're good. Rub some dirt on it. You'll be all right. You got a new bike? Yeah. Lucky. Nice. Okay, see you later. Plan B, what you can do is there's a lever on the side of your machine. If your machine ever jams up on you at all, it just kind of hangs and it can't get through whatever it is that you're sewing, just kind of crank the lever on the side to work it through. It's not, you know, normal or orthodox, but we can do this just to get through this hump. There, there, there we go. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, now we are through the hump. So let's angle our jeans just to the side a little bit because we're a little bit farther away from them, that hem than we should be, and then we should be good. So this is what we are left with. We, gross, dog hair, awesome. Uh, we've got our straight stitch right across the top of our hem here, and this is what it looks like on the outside. Now, you can cut this flap of fabric off, so if I were to tuck it all in like this, it would look like that. Now, 
I used white thread so you can see what I'm doing, but there's this big old like bunching of fabric all down here and you can see it. I know, they rang the doorbell. Do you want to go ride your bike? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Are we not going? We can, or I can just go. I need to go. Huh? I need to go and so does she, I think she's getting a present for her friend. I can just pick it out. Did you get my text? Never mind. I'm hemming jeans right now and I'm gonna, Okay, see ya. Why is the door still open? Do you have to go to the bathroom? Don't have kids. You can say hi from the top of the stairs. Hi. All right, go upstairs. <laughs> go upstairs. This is another pair of jeans that I did the exact same thing to, and this is a lighter pair of denim, and it's even more prominent as far as like, that line right up top there, I don't like it. It just looks, ugh. Now, I used black thread on this one, again, so you can see what I'm doing. So when I pull at it, you can see it. If you were to use a lighter type of thread, you wouldn't notice it as much. I cut it off on the inside here. You can finish this with a zigzag stitch if you want to, but it very much just screams like two pieces of fabric kind of stitched together. I don't. I don't know, I don't really like it. Teach their own. Me personally, I like the unprofessional way. It's just as easy, it's cleaner. You can just kind of start over from scratch. You can make your own new hem and you don't have to worry about any any little flappies or anything like that. No, no, let's, uh, let's talk about how to taper these bad boys. SD out, see ya. Okay, I'm ready. 